Let's look at the proper way to add progress messages to our scripts using write verbose. Now, the word verbose essentially means more information than necessary. So when you're writing a script, you don't necessarily need to have progress messages everywhere telling the user what's happening. And you'll notice that when I run this script, it doesn't give any messages about what's going on. Although I'm doing lots of different stuff here. I'm doing pings to different websites that I have in this collection. I'm grabbing the items inside of a folder. I'm creating 100 files inside of a folder on my desktop. But sometimes you want to know where the script is at at certain points. And you'll be tempted to use write host to have it display messages at certain intervals. But you don't want to do that because if you want to get rid of those messages and have a nice clean console that doesn't display anything, you have to go and comment out all that stuff. So we can use write verbose. And you'll notice that I have write verbose messages all over the place inside of my script. But it didn't display anything when I ran it. That's the beauty of write verbose is that you can turn it on, you can turn it off, and you can do different things with it. So how do we get write verbose to, dis to display? Well, there's a static variable called verbose preference. And by default, it's set to silently continue. But if we change that variable at the top of our script, now you'll see that my verbose messages print out. So it's pinging google.com, and that was successful. It pings twitter.com. And you'll notice that it went through everything pretty quick. So we can go back and see exactly what happened in our script. We pinged potatoes.com. That failed. Some random website failed. Facebook worked. Uh, we grabbed the files in the scripts folder, the AIK folder. And every time a file was created, we were able to generate a message. So we can see what was happening as it's happening. And here we have our script complete. So there's different things that you can do. You can have it stop. Okay, so it gets to the first verbose message and it stops. There's another one called inquire that I really enjoy. Every time it gets to a right verbose, it will ask you whether you want to continue and you have the option to do different things. So you can say yes, and it'll continue, yes, and that way you can kind of step through the messages and you can stop it at some point that you want. So that is the write verbose commandlet and it allows you to display messages in a way that you can turn them on and turn them off and verbose just means to give more information that's ne than is necessary and in this case you don't necessarily need to output all this information to the screen but if you want to have the option to do so it would be nice and instead of using write host where somebody might have to go and uncomment a whole bunch of commented write host screens or just you know some other messy sort of way we can easily turn this on turn this off and we can see what is happening inside of our script and when it's getting to those certain points and that's it write verbose thanks for watching